When starting out with RFID, most people often have a specific task. Duplicate a specific type of badge, sniff reader communications, etc. There are multiple tools, but which one is the right one? Everyone's heard of a Proxmark. But is there another tool that could be easier for the job at hand? Or do we need a combination of tools? In this pen test tip, we will work through finding the right tool for your job. First, we have to determine the card frequency. There are three main types of RFID tags, high frequency, low frequency, and ultra high frequency. The most common in access control are low frequency and high frequency tags. If you've got access to the cards reader, you can determine the frequency by placing the Lab 401 RF field detector on the device. A LED will indicate the type of frequency you have to work with. The second step is to define your goal. You need to have a clear idea of the task that you need to accomplish. So what do you need to do exactly? Read and write the tag, analyze an unknown tag type, sniff comments between the reader and the tag, emulate the tag you have or variations of this tag, track decrypt the tag, then you need to narrate it down. There is a lot of functionality crossover between RFID tools, but most tools have a core functionality. Standard operations, emulation, advanced operations. With this information, finding the right tool is much easier. For low frequency tags, if you need the basic operations, so read, write, clone and emulate, your best choice is the Kizi. If you need more advanced operations, like demodulate, sniff, analyze and low level operations, your best choice is the Proxmark 3. Unsurprisingly, the tools that cater for more simple operations are easier to learn and use and are also less expensive. For high frequency tags, if you need basic operations, read, write and clone, your best choice is the DL533N. If you need to emulate tags, your best choice is the Chameleon Tiny. And if you need more advanced operations like demodulate, sniff, analyze and low level operations, your best choice is definitely the Proxmark 3. As with LF tools, the devices that cater for more simple operations are easier to learn and use, and are also less expensive. Summing up, many of the devices shown have extra functionality. The Chameleon Tiny can also perform limited sniffing. The DL533N can perform basic emulation. However, their core functionalities and use cases are quite different. Likewise, the most powerful and expensive tool may not necessarily be the most efficient tool for your use case or learning curve. This is why Lab 41 designed the RFID Pentester Packs to give pen testers everything they need to handle almost every situation. If you need specific advice, you can contact us via our awesome customer support at support at lab41.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.